In a Goofy movie, Goofy's son Max goes to some extremely far lengths to impress the most popular girl in school, Roxanne. Their connection was adorable and convincing every time they were together. From each moment their hands touched, to the cute little pecking kisses, and the awkward, nervous, flirtatious discussions. I was, uh, sort of kind of thinking that maybe I'd, um, ask you to <coughs> go with me, that is, to the party. Well, I was sort of kind of thinking that I'd love to. Yeah. Good. Great. Terrific. Wonderful. You just have to root for Max and Roxanne. But whatever happened between these two? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to look through sequels, shows, Christmas specials, and more to finally figure out what happened with Max and Roxanne's relationship. If you would like to continue to learn about Max or Roxanne, I've provided all the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. And to continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. In a Goofy movie, Max's love story begins by finally getting the chance to have a date with Roxanne, until Goofy decides he needs to reconnect with his son by traveling across the country on a fishing trip. This meant Max would need to cancel his first date with Roxanne, but Max wouldn't lose his chance with her. To prevent her from being asked to the Powerline concert viewing party by someone else, Max fabricates a massive lie that Goofy knew Powerline and that he would be dancing on stage with him at the concert. This is incredible. Well, I wouldn't miss our date for anything that wasn't incredible, Roxanne. I'll see you on TV. I'm in deep sludge. Although Max completely derails his vacation, he eventually comes to enjoy the trip, bond with his father, and Max and Goofy end up breaking into the concert in Los Angeles and actually dancing with Powerline. But when he returns to his home, Max knows he has to tell Roxanne the truth. Very important in a relationship. You mean that story about Powerline and your dad? Why would you make up something like that? I don't know. I guess I just... Why don't you to like me? In the end, Max learns Roxanne has always liked him for who he was and gets that first date he was waiting for. I already liked you, Max. So, you want to do something tonight? Definitely. Oh, oh no, I can't. I can't. What? I'm kind of doing something with my dad. Honest? About tomorrow. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Max went through so much to get the first date. I mean, it also took him a lot to just get his first words out. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. I just, uh, darn, I just, there I was, I came and I, I'm just saying, I can get. So it was pretty disappointing to see Roxanne didn't have an appearance or even receive a reference in the sequel to a goofy movie titled An Extremely Goofy Movie. In this film, Max is traveling off to his first year of college. I guess without Roxanne. I first was hoping they were just making long distance work and going to different schools, but some moments suggest otherwise. He appears to be flirting with a cashier, attempts to get a pretty girl to sit by him at one of his lectures, and promises a girl a dance. Save a dance for me? No problem. It seems Roxanne and Max must have broken up. Until you see them together in an episode of the TV series The House of Mouse titled Max's Embarrassing Date. Monsieur Max, I see you're preparing for a saucy rendezvous. Oh yeah, my big date with Roxanne. And uh, don't tell anybody, but she wants to come here. As the title of the episode suggests, Max is a bit embarrassed by all of the shenanigans that ensue at the House of Mouse during his date. But at the end, we get to learn how the date went. Max, I've only got one thing to say to you about tonight. I don't know why, but this is the best date she's ever had and she can't wait to come back! Maybe Roxanne and Max broke up or took a break during college, but since Max is definitely older in the House of Mouse compared to his appearance in an extremely goofy movie, and their date went so well, then maybe their relationship can work out. Well. Even though their date was the best one Roxanne had ever been on, the relationship wouldn't last. 
in Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, which came out in 2004, a whole year after The House of Mouse stopped releasing new episodes suggesting the film's stories take place after House of Mouse, Max is seen bringing home a girl named Mona for the first time. Remember I told you about the girl I'm bringing home for Christmas? I want those two kids to be happy, but I just wish they could be happy together. And it seems they could have been. Mona looks and sounds like Roxanne. Max, I'm really looking forward to meeting your dad. Because originally, Roxanne was supposed to be featured in the story in the film. But due to the limitations of early CGI in Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, there was a lot of trouble fabricating Roxanne's iconic long hair. Because they couldn't effectively bring Roxanne's hair to life, they created a replacement Scrappy, which is a term to describe a popular character who is killed off or otherwise written out and replaced with a new character who fills their previous role. Although I have seen one crazy theory that suggested the similar appearance and voices indicate Mona is actually Roxanne disguised for secret agent work, I just don't think that is a conclusion I could find much more evidence for. Personally, I just think it stinks Roxanne was removed because of technical issues. Unfortunately, even with all of the acts to impress Roxanne and all of the adorable moments from everything we have seen so far, it seems Max and Roxanne are currently broken up. Every time I found a new cameo of Roxanne, I was hoping that it would be the most recent work so I could conclude Max and her were together, but it seems they just aren't. From everything I found, I think they are a couple who are off and on and just haven't come together. But hopefully someday we will get to see Roxanne and Max together again. If you enjoyed learning about Max and Roxanne's relationship, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more magical, goofy videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you're new to the channel, it is a great time to come on board because there's some pretty cool things in the work that I'll be talking about soon, and it's filled with a supportive community, like Lindsay Alexander. Lindsay is a big fan of the channel, so she made me this perler bead magnet. Thank you so much, Lindsay. If you'd like to find my P.O. Box information, you can find that in the description. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. Do you think Max and Roxanne should end up together? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.